Hey everyone, this is Vish from vishanashtra.com and in this video I'm going to just talk about how you can go about setting uh, Twitter up in order to do business and essentially make money with Twitter. If you're someone that does not believe in the power of Twitter for your business or if you've been using Twitter for some time and have just come to the conclusion that it just doesn't make sense for you from a profit standpoint, or then I do have some you know key pieces of advice that I'm going to be sharing a bit later on in the video, so please keep watching. Before I get into that, I just want to very quickly go over some of the key setup components that you need to have in place in order to just make sure that your Twitter profile is set up correctly. Some of these are kind of obvious and pretty easy, but at the same time, uh, many people that, that just start out end up forgetting to do this or to do it right or to just feel intimidated by Twitter as a whole, just getting on board. So I just want to say, first off, just, you know, it, it's the sign-up process is really simple. You just come to Twitter.com, you click the sign-up button, you follow the on-screen instructions, you just have to put in your full name, username, select the password and email, and you're all set. So that's pretty straightforward. I'm not going to set up a new account right now because we just don't have a particular need for an account at this moment and I don't want to set up an account uh, for no reason so I'm just going to log into one of our accounts to cover those few quick things that are just really important to make sure to have in place if you're going to use Twitter for business. So I'm going to go into our Halle Bally Dog profile and once you're inside uh, again, if you do, uh, real quickly, if you do set up a Twitter account, make sure that your Twitter username is something that's suitable for your project, your blog or site. Make sure that it's, it's related to your niche and that it fits your business. So you're essentially creating a Twitter profile for your business. You know, this is, you can have this separate from your personal profile or, you know, a personal Twitter account that you use for everything else. So once you're inside and you have your account set up, um, then you just basically log in and you have to just look right up here you've got some really interesting links and the most important link that you have to worry about in the very beginning is, is going to be the settings link this tab in particular has all the really important things that you have to kind of get set up and it's really easy it only takes a few minutes once you're inside the settings you're going to notice some sub sections or sub tab sub links the most important ones I would say would be design and profile but real quickly you just want to cover account where you just have your name your username make sure you have a you know a valid working email of course you probably do or else you were you weren't able to sign up for an account in the first place uh, make sure your language is good your time zone is all good and um, that's pretty much it the mobile link will allow you to set up your mobile phone to work with Twitter so that's pretty easy and simple and, and something you can do the two most important tabs are definitely the profile and design tab. Uh, I'm just going to go into design real quick. The design section is something that you should just at least take a few minutes at the very beginning to, to tweak and kind of give your Twitter account a unique look that suits, again, your, your site, your blog, your business. And just having an appealing look or something unique that makes you stand out definitely does help with making a good first impression. So you can uh, definitely, other than your avatar, which we'll get to in a second, you definitely want to make sure that you have a unique background and uh, you can upload your own custom background by clicking the change background right down here. Or you can just play around with the main colors of your Twitter profile, like your background, your text, your links and such. So we've uploaded our own custom background right now, but you can you know, also very quickly just click any of these and change your background. Again, you can go with a color that really suits your blog or website. So just take a couple of minutes and play around and just get that look that, that feels just right for you. If you're not sure with what colors to go with or what might be right, you can just you know um, do a quick search for some sites or blogs or other Twitter profiles that are in uh, a similar niche and that might give you some idea on colors that might work for you or that might be suitable for the niche in particular. But again, I mean, you don't want to box yourself in. You can get creative and just go with what you, what you feel is right as long as it, it's clean, it looks good, and it presents well. So design aside, let's just really quickly go into the profile tab. Make sure that you upload um, a custom avatar. The last thing you want to do is be Twittering with the default Twitter avatar. That's just a really bad idea, especially if you're trying to uh, again, build an audience, create leads, and potentially customers. Uh, make sure that you have a custom avatar. And make sure that it's, again, representative of your brand or your blog or your niche or all three. So that's really important. Um, nothing says 
uh, robot account or inactive account more than a default avatar. At the same time, I mean, there are a lot of users on Twitter that you that do use default avatars, and you might even have some friends and family that use them. But again, you know, we're trying to do business here. You want to, uh, you know, come correct in order to make money with Twitter. So you want to make sure you have a good avatar. Uh, your name is something that appears at the very top of your profile. I'm just going to click real back to the profile to show you. Your name appears right up here on your Twitter profile. The name is very important because it also acts as your as part of your title tag with Google. On Google, whenever you do a search or you know your profile when it comes up in the SERPs, the title tag will actually be the name that you have in, that you have in this box along with your Twitter username in parentheses. So it's very important for you to have relevant keywords or really important keywords in there. Your location, again, you can put country, city, where you are. If you're a local business, you can you know, be a little more descriptive. It's really up to you. And finally, the, the, the last two fields, which are extremely important. Uh, number one, your website. Make sure that you do enter a URL and make sure it's the complete URL starting with the HTTP colon slash slash. This is very important because, again, it, it shows up on your profile and it's a great way for other Twitter users to click on over and see what you're about or visit your blog or website and see what you're about. So it's very important that you do have a website in this field and make sure that you take at least a minute or two to write out a nice descriptive bio. You only have about 160 characters, which is not a lot, but at the same time, it's more than enough to get um, what you have to say out. And again, you can put in some keywords or just you know be a little personable and what you're going to be tweeting about or what you're all about or what your business is about. You know, in our bio, we pretty much wrote positive dog training and natural care for your pup, for your puppy dog, and we explained that we're designers, trainers, entrepreneurs, and parents to a beautiful Weimarner Halley. Also concluded with we love dogs or we heart dogs, and again, you know, in there we kind of explain what we're up to. We we tell them a little bit about who we are, and we kind of make a statement with the we love dogs, saying that you know we're really passionate and, and we really care about this topic. Uh, if, if anyone out there is wondering how we got the heart in there, uh, I could just take a minute and show you. It's pretty easy. Essentially, just go to Twitter symbols. Um, I've put the link in uh, just down below. And you can essentially just come here and double click any of these symbols that are right here, copy them, right click, copy, or control C on your keyboard, and paste them into Twitter, and they'll actually work and appear as they appear here. So it's just a great tip. Uh, you can, you know, have fun with these, but. It's just a quick little tip that maybe you'll find useful. And essentially that's it. I mean, just make sure that these fields are filled in and that your Twitter profile is set up correctly. Going back to the very beginning when I was talking about whether or not Twitter can be profitable and, and for all the skeptics out there or people who just, you know, are or don't really understand how it might work or can work, I will just say this basically that when you're on Twitter, especially when you're trying to do business and you're trying to connect with people on, on, on a level that will help your business. You have to be one genuine, authentic, and you have to provide good content. You know, um, your Twitter followers don't care so much about every single thing that you're doing. You really have to focus on giving them valuable content in your niche. So, you know, do little tweets with really valuable posts. You know, don't keep harassing them to buy your stuff, download your stuff, receive your stuff, get your stuff. That's really going to be a big turnoff. Don't worry so much about your follower count. You know, you don't need to have 20, 30,000 and there's a lot of techniques and, and ways that you can, you know, uh, increase your web on the Twitter sphere and that you can get a whole lot of followers. And uh, we've used some of the methods in the very beginning. We've been on Twitter since 2009 and, you know, it was a great way to get some numbers up. But at the same time, there was just no real results that came from that. I mean, you know, you might get the illusion that you have 10,000 or 5,000 people following you and you're wondering, you know, how come no one's, you know, really responding or responding to any of my call to actions or taking part in anything I'm proposing or buying anything that I'm offering. And the reason is because if you're just getting your numbers up by churning Twitter users, then that's not really strong leads. It's not people that really care about what you're doing. I mean, it's it's more of a follow-follow exchange. The value of the, your followers might not be as powerful as you might think. Uh, of course, in there, you're always going to get some great people in the mix, but over, the overall impression 
or the overall numbers that you have don't really reflect the quality of followers that you have. You can have 300 followers that really listen to what you say and care about what you say, or you can have 5,000 followers that don't care about anything that you say. And that's a big difference. And in order to get followers, legitimate followers that really care about what you say, you have to provide value. And you do that by offering them real experienced advice, information, help. Uh, you chit chat, you participate, you ask questions you take interest in what they're talking about of course you can mix in some personal in there i mean i would say you can put in a good 10 20 percent uh, of you know personal tweets things that you're up to because again you know you want to be genuine authentic and um, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that but you don't have to be going back and forth 30 40 times throughout the day with your family you know on twitter uh, especially with your business account and you definitely don't want to be clogging up other people's twitter streams so again make your tweets valuable and people will find you especially if you, you, you use good keywords in your tweets and people will follow you based on that and you don't have, have to absolutely follow everybody back. There are different strategies to go about it, but as far as how it can help your business is, I mean, nowadays everybody's competing for airtime on the web and you have to do everything that you can in order to increase your reach. And the Twitter sphere is just a wonderful place with so many people. Increasing your reach in any way is, is a good strategy nowadays. And it's really just a give and take and that's probably the best way that you can use Twitter for your business because the, it's a great long-term strategy and it's a great strategy um, just you know overall you know I just want to get this video out real quick because we're gonna be talking a lot about Twitter and a lot of the different ways that you can uh, use and maximize and profit from Twitter okay so that just about wraps up this one hopefully you found some of the advice useful again thank you so much for watching really appreciate all the feedback all the comments